about masterminds. And my question is, what is the goal of the mastermind? What do you want to get out of it? What have you gotten out of your mastermind groups? Well, when I first started, I was a beginning internet marketer who totally, uh, total newbie. I didn't know anything at all. So what I got out of it was, um, you know, I had guys around me that I could um, suck their heads basically and get their knowledge. How do you set up one shopping cart? How does ClickBank work? That sort of thing. And then that's just when Bill and I, Bill Hibbler and I were in it. And, um, you know, then Craig Bryan and then Joe Vitale came along. Oh, the screaming is not good you know, for you. Having Joe in there was pretty cool. He's a good copywriter, so I learned a lot there. So the goal of that mastermind for me was to become a successful internet marketer. And also smoke cigars with my friends, but that was a secondary benefit. Primary benefit was I had a couple of great copywriters, great list builders um, who were willing to help me and share. And over time, I got to the point where I could then contribute back to them. So uh, I think we all came out pretty good on the deal. Mm -hmm. and, and people who who want to do be in a mastermind group with like you or with with. Um, Joe Vitale, you know, people who get successful at it, what what do you need as a mastermind group? Well, in the new mastermind group that I'm putting together right now, my goal is to be the least experienced, the least talented, and have the lowest income of all the members. So how would they, why would they, they invite you in, or why would they be part of your group? Because I'm a hell of a guy. No, seriously. It, it, it has that worked so well for me in the past, um, but you know it's like over. We had that mastermind group, the old one, together for four or five years, and it's kind of like being in a rock band. Over time, interests change, people grow. Um, so I'm not going to be totally firm on that, but if I have my wish, if I get to design this mastermind group, it's going to be with people who are smarter than I am and have more money than I do. Awesome. Any advice to, um, uh, so, so are you going to handpick then, people? We're actually auditioning people. Oh. We sure are. Okay, and how, is it, how does a person audition for your group? Well, you show up at the Vitale Cigar Bar in Wimberley, Texas. You bring a box of Cuban cigars. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Because we're out in public so much, I mean, Joe's certainly a whole lot more than I am, but, you know, me too. I feel fairly confident we'll run across who we're looking for. I mean, you have to be willing to come to Wimberley, Texas on a weekly basis. <laughs> With the cigars, box of cigars. Any box particular? of Cuban cigars, is, is, that would be a great uh, gesture, but it's not required. Is that for you or is that for Joe too? Well, Joe and I both smoke cigars. Okay. Now, I won't fess up to smoking the Cubans. But <laughs> they're highly illegal. Everybody smokes them, but they're illegal, kind of like pot. Yeah. <laughs> but remember, you can do masterminds for things besides making money. You know, you can do a, um, a better life or a better social life mastermind or a spiritual mastermind. You know, the trick is find one other person. You can have a mastermind group with just one other person. You know, it's an amazing thing. You know, whenever two or more of you are gathered in my name, there is no... Anyway, that works. Something bigger than the two people is created in a mastermind environment because of the intention is set. Uh -huh. And um, and do how long do, do your mastermind groups last? I mean, are these commitments forever? Or are you talking about for a month or a week? Or how do you even determine a link? Open-ended. Open-ended. They last till they don't work anymore. And if you're smart, you recognize it's not working quickly and kill them quickly. And how do you kill it? Um, just say, okay, we, it's run its course. Thank you very much. Yeah. Got it. Cool. What are the benefits uh, that you've gotten out of your mastermind groups? Benefits of the mastermind group. Well, again, the mastermind group I was in was a very, a very specific goal. Or, I had a very specific goal for it. I wanted to become an internet marketer. And there was a tremendous learning curve for me because I didn't know anything. And there were people in this group that knew all the things I needed to know. So 
I would say the biggest benefit is my income went from about $13,000 a year to where um, it is now. <laughs> uh, Okay. How do you say income stuff without getting in trouble? I made a shit all of money last year. How's that? Uh, you can say double, triple your oh, income double, triple. and double, uh, triple in, in two months or. <laughs> oh, well, I would say that it went from it, you know, like 20 times. 20 times in a certain amount of time? Yeah, but your mileage may vary. I mean, I'm, I'm paying about seventy thousand dollars to the U.S. Treasury this year in taxes. Yeah. So you can back that up. Yeah. So um, the income. Um, also, I really looked forward to hanging out with the guys and eating lunch once a week. And it was really interesting to watch what people did. I mean, Bill wrote his book. Craig wrote a book. Um, Joe walked in one day and said he wanted to be in a movie, and we looked at Joe. And we couldn't, it was like, okay. But nobody could figure out how he was going to do that. And then a year later, the secret hits, and I'll let him tell the whole story. But there were a lot of really cool moments like that. Somebody would set an intention. You know, one of mine was to have a best selling book. Well, I wrote the book, and I marketed the book, and it became a bestseller. And having Joe and Cindy Cashman has been that's my group for a while too. She's pretty smart. But having Joe and Cindy and then access to the people they know and the knowledge they have, it's like having um, five or six different brains that you can kind of wire together into this massive, much more powerful than my brain kind of thing. And and what? How would you define a mastermind group? If somebody, an alien, ask you, what's a mastermind group? I would instruct the alien to go get Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. But the easy answer is two or more people with a common goal who are willing to have a good attitude and work together towards that common goal. And maybe a series of common goals. 